He's a good one, you know. Always shows up to my class, does his homework. But, I mean, the kid never says a word. It's too bad. He's talented and could really do well for himself if he just broke out of his shell. I just don't know how to connect with him. Think he'll do something after he graduates? I hope so, but I'm just not sure. He certainly had it rough. At least he'll graduate. I mean, that's something. Good tune? Where are you from? Here. Ah, Métis, eh? That's good. Very good. I'm Dave Gladue from Lac Saint Anne. You learn anything today? A bit. What's your name? Daniel. Ah, um, Niska is back, Daniel. A lot of history right here for you and me. Right where you're sitting. Loser! I heard he shacked up with some young thing. I'm gonna mess him up good this time. Ditching me with this kid while he's off partying with some tramp. Gonna mess him up real good. Well, he's usually peddling that sob story by the liquor store off the avenue. We should find him there. Now, do I hit him or give him his damn son? Maybe both. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, people! You ever want to learn more about Niska or this tree here, you let me know, okay? Come on, we better get on that bus. <sighs> Daniel, I thought we agreed to meet at the burger joint. Sorry. It's okay. I brought your favorite. The place looks great, Daniel. You guys are keeping things very tidy. I'm proud of you. I heard things have been going well at school. You're all set to graduate? Mm-hmm. Is there anything else I can do to help support you? No, I'm okay. It was a big change for you, coming here from the shelter. Give me that phone, wimp. <gasps> yeah, I guess. Are you sure there's nothing I can help you with? I heard of some nice summer programs happening. No thanks. Okay then. Remember, you can call me anytime to talk. I'm here for you. Those guys were pretty cool. I wonder where they go to school. Hey, Chief! Where's the powwow? Maybe they need someone to jig in one of their concerts or something. That would be so cool to go on tour with them. Playing so many shows, meeting so many cool people. Would be so much better than this bullshit. Daniel, I have to lock up the room now. You can come back tomorrow if you want. The computers will still be here. They're not going anywhere. Oh, give him something, Greg. I'm not homeless. Well, I'm sure you'll need it at some point. I bet I would disappear without a splash, too. I don't think anyone would notice. Social worker would be glad I'm off her caseload. Teachers couldn't care less. No friends, so that doesn't matter. I wish I could just turn off too. 
Daniel, we're worried about you. You could have called me. I gave you my card. You remember I gave you my card, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we don't know what to do anymore. We could bring back our elder to talk to you. Whatever. Enough! <clears throat> so, you were justified in getting angry at those two kids, no question. But fighting isn't how we solve problems in school. I think I've managed to talk administration out of suspending you, but you're going to have to meet him halfway. Have you met Dave Gladue before? Look, buddy, you got to give me something to work with here. I know it's tough, but we don't know how you feel if you don't talk to us. Dave's an elder who works with our school. He's a good guy. and He's got a lot of teachings that you'll benefit from. I think he can come by tomorrow, if you're into it. I guess... You want to go for a drive, Daniel? Get out of here? I was hoping we might run into each other again. I wish it was under different circumstances, though. Don't you have a real job or something? This is my job. Helping out at the school. Working with young men like you. Trying to figure out how we can make the city a better place for you. This city sucks. I know it's tough being Métis in the city. Believe me. I've been there. I've heard and seen it all. Insults, drugs, alcohol, isolation, the loss of culture and language, down and out brothers and sisters. My mom's on the street. I, I haven't seen her forever. And my dad, he ended it all a couple years ago. I'm sorry to hear that, Daniel. I'm not going to say that I know what you're going through. I don't. But I have to ask, are you thinking about suicide? Well, I can't say I don't think about it, because I do, but not all the time, and I feel pretty good today. Okay, well, I appreciate your honesty. Do you know what to do if you start feeling worse? Yeah, I've been to emergency before, and I've called the crisis line too. Okay, good. With the crisis line? Sometimes you have to call back until you get a person you can connect with. You know, on a personal level. Yeah, I found that too. You know, every footstep that you take, one of your ancestors has stepped in the same place. Right now, you might not feel connected, but every leaf, every tree, Every river and blade of grass knows you, and they know your connection to this land. They are your relations as much as anyone else is. Healing from our traumas and what we've gone through takes time. There isn't an easy answer. That's not how it works. But every journey starts with a step, and I'll walk beside you if you want me to. I just want to be left alone. Do you really want that? I don't know. I don't know what I want. Not many people your age do, let alone people who've gone through what you've gone through. If you could do anything, what would it be? I guess I would be in a band or jigging, you know, like some of those guys you see in the music videos. Maybe to electronic music though, not the fiddle. Hey, what's wrong with the fiddle? Our blood runs through this land and the roots of the trees. They want to help heal you as much as I do. But you need to respect the land, our land. Kitaski know above everything else. It's like that young warriors program you've been attending. Your group focuses on spiritual health, emotional health, physical health, and mental health. My kokum taught me a long time ago that you need to keep the four in balance. Remember that tree? Not really. That's the tree you were sitting under when I first met you. You were so lost then, pretending you were listening to music. <laughs> that was funny. You knew? <laughs> <laughs> of course. What good may T boy your age keeps his music quiet? I'm surprised you're not all deaf by now. 
Hmm. Funny. You know, I'm trying not to be as quiet anymore. I never had anyone to talk to before. But lots of the guys and girls at the program, they're really supportive. I used to think that I was the only one who felt alone and scared. We all feel scared at times, but we're not as alone when we have our community. I think... I think when I finish up school, I want to get into social work or youth work. I've really picked up my grades, and my teacher and social worker are going to help me with the application. We need more strong men like you helping our youth. I think that's a great idea, Daniel. Man, you know that jigging group we formed at Warriors? We got asked to perform at grad this year. We're even going to get paid. That's awesome. You've come a long way, my boy. I have something for you. This is for you. I was always told that you give someone a sash when you've gone through a struggle and emerge on the other side stronger and ready to start their journey. You're there now, Daniel. Your feet are moving forward. You have a difficult path still, but with your new friends from the program, the teachings about physical, spiritual, mental and emotional health, your willingness to embrace them, and your humble approach, you're well on your way. Thanks, Dave. That means a lot to me. I sure hope you're going to be there for grad. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you.